Yo, yo, all right, man, look. Hey, so look, look. Okay, so I had just did a reaction video on to, I forgot whatever the last name was called, on my grad test. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I just did a video and everything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I forgot the name of it, but it's uploaded right now. I told y'all the last video, I'm gonna go ahead and do another video so we can go ahead and do this one. All right, so this one is terrifying footage of killers during a mass shooting. So we just finished, go ahead and watch and see. Let's get into it. Today, we look at three cases of cold blooded murder where okay. the killers were all caught on camera. First, there is this case of Keith Melvin Moses, who mm. committed the most brutal murder only to return to the scene and kill again. Then we have the case of Derodney E. Russell. When police pulled him over about a stolen vehicle, they found that they were facing a suspect wanted for a deadly double murder. Finally, we explore the tragic death of three-year-old Asaya Figueroa, who was murdered by remorseless adults who became fugitives of the law. The Orange County Sheriff's Department has released body camera footage. What Orange County are they talking about? Cause you know they got Orange County, uh, California, like Cali, Orange County, California, and then Orange County, Orlando. I'm from Orlando. I'm from Pine Hills, Orange County. You know what I'm saying? Silver Star, Florida, maybe K. You know what time it is? Anyway, what's Orange County are they talking about? From the arrest of the suspect in here. Monday's yeah. deadly shootings in Orlando. Orlando. Okay. So yeah. Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023, and police are called to Hylia Drive in the Pine Hills area after reports of a shooting. Time. When first responders arrived, they were greeted by the horrific sight of a woman gunned down. That's one thing about them niggas. They don't care. Niggas just don't care. They don't care. Me, I ain't even in Florida no more. I'm in a whole new state. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm vibing. In her own vehicle. Nathacha Augustin did not stand a chance against the crazed gunman who had taken her life. Nathacha was an innocent passenger riding in the car driven by the cousin of Moses. He offered to give Moses a ride. It was noted that Moses appeared sweaty and was acting strange as he entered the car. Then Moses pulled a gun and shot Nathacha directly in the chin in an unwarranted and brutal attack. Within minutes, the scene was one of chaos, with police, medics, and reports Child swarming to Hulea Drive. Me. Police cornered off the area and began the search for clues as to what kind of monster would commit such an atrocity in broad daylight and on a seemingly innocent victim. But the answers the police would need would come much sooner than they or anyone else expected, as, like many killers, throughout history this sick and twisted maniac was about to make a shocking return to the scene. Look only crazy. he was returning for more than just morbid curiosity and what he did next stunned the community the nation and the world it's very um emotional here outside of Orlando Regional Medical Center. As Moses made his reappearance, he decided this killing spree was far from over. It did not take him long to find his next victim and turn this street into a war zone. So he really Dylan went, Lyons was a bright, upcoming 24-year-old reporter. So he really went on a uh, killing spree. Well, he killed a reporter too? who attended the scene for Spectrum News. With him was his photographer, Jesse Walden. Oh. The first shooting happening near the corner of Hialeah Street and Harrington Drive, north of Colonial oh, right, and stopped. east of Hiawassee Road. Orange County deputies say they initially found a woman in her 20s shot and killed there at around 11.20 this morning. Now, later today, just after four this afternoon, two journalists were covering that earlier homicide and that's when the sheriff's office said the suspect, Keith Melvin Moses, walked up to their unmarked car and shot both of them. Journalism can uh, often come with its fair shit, share of oh, danger, yeah, as many can get right into the heart of a crime scene, sometimes even while the crime is still happening. As they covered the story, the area was littered with police, so they would not have expected themselves to be in danger, but they could not have known mm. just how psychopathic this killer really was. The News 13 reporter and photographer were covering this morning homicide on Hialeah Street please. shortly after 4 o'clock this afternoon. Right, Deputy say the 19-year-old suspect from that homicide showed up at the scene and shot the news crew. They were both taken completely unaware. Lyons was aimed at point blank in the chest oh. and Walden was aimed in the groin, showing just how crazed this suspect was, inflicting untold... So I was right, he did shoot the reporter. 
But the porter, a reporter, he look, he still look like he alive and stuff. Like God bless him and his family. But like, hey, bro, just just don't care. They don't care. Pain and suffering on several innocent people. Lions came off worse from the attack. They were both in or near the vehicle, uh, a reporter and a Three photographer. Two and un unfortunately, one has passed. But Moses had not yet satisfied his bloodlust, and his next target could be anyone. According to reports, Moses then casually walked down the street and up to a house with a sliding door, where he let himself in. Nine-year-old Tiona Major would have had no warning at as to the events that were about to transpire as this barbaric madman opened fire on her in her very own home. Despite being shot twice in the stomach, her and her mother Brandy managed to barricade themselves in the bathroom in an effort to escape the imminent danger. Among the- Man, that jump crazy. So Cub broke inside the house and Jay had shot a kid, bro. A lot of people, they, they not even sparing kids. What happened to the whole, you stare women and kids? Hey, I, I ain't nobody getting stared no more. Right? Lives lost are a 38 year old woman named Natasha Augustin, nine year old Tiana Major, and Spectrum News 13 reporter Dylan Lyons. The little girl's mother was also shot and, according to authorities, is in the hospital. Also recovering from gunshot wounds is photojournalist Jesse Walden. Walden says as a result of the assault, he had surgery, but that he's okay. So let's go over to the transaction history. And as you can see, they paid yeah, me out the balance, which is 15400 Moses fled the house, but was a wanted man. And it did not take long before he was spotted by officers on the street. He was um, detained and arrested near that area right after... Uh, the two shootings. Um, yeah, very good description was given out. Uh, deputies located him uh, in the exact same clothes that he was wearing uh, during the shootings. Body cam footage from the arresting officers showed how they spotted and apprehended their suspect, who gave very little fight. Oh, but these brave good. officers. Body cam footage from the arresting officers showed how they spotted and apprehended their like, suspect, who gave like, very little I'm fight. But these brave officers were taking no chances, and they made sure this violent killer wasn't going anywhere until backup arrived these officers would have known exactly what this madman was capable of 19 year old keith melvin moses is suspected of shooting five people in the pine hills area of central florida killing three of them after his short but brutal killing spree moses was finally off the street and into the hands of the law walden wrote on facebook I lost one of my best friends, Dylan. Keith Melvin Moses has been charged with first degree murder with a firearm. He has not yet entered a plea. In custody, he refused to cooperate and is even alleged to have pretended to be asleep. Even worse, it is reported he tried to let himself out of the police interview room once he was left alone. He is set to face his day in court and has so far amassed a long list of charges against him, as well as the three second degree murder charges he also faces charges in they left him enough for five minutes this nigga tried he said i'm finna run he said i'm finna go hey and that pretending to be sleep you can't do it forever you might as well just go ahead and just I don't being know, attempted bro. second degree murder, burglary, possession of a firearm, carrying a concealed weapon, and resisting arrest. The families of the victims had an emotional press conference. Nah, they spoke hard, of the bro. lack of support from Governor Ron DeSantis and Senator Rick Scott and challenged the gun laws in the United States. I I've been saying this for years right here. I ain't <laughs> to me. <laughs> I've been saying this for years, bro. I swear to God, Rick Scott to me, this nigga look like a lizard, bro. If y'all really look at Rick Scott, bro, y'all, like y'all feel how I feel, like this nigga look like a lizard, bro. I don't know. In turn, Governor Ron DeSantis long ass, long accused gecko, the bro. Florida State know. Attorney Monique Worrell of failing to keep this dangerous 19-year-old off of the streets. Worrell fired back, saying, "This isn't about whether or not I'm following the law. This isn't about whether or not my policies are a danger to public safety." This is about the governor wanting to control politics across the state. And quite frankly, it's dangerous because this is a democracy. It's not a dictatorship. With over 13 charges against him, Keith Melvin Moses will face a judge and jury. And despite his not guilty plea, let's hope he's locked away for life 
without the chance of parole. But as tragic and heartbreaking as these needless deaths are, our next case will show the true evil of human nature as our next killer okay, spend seen this their time this celebrating about. right after they committed murder. You can hear them talking on the trains. You can hear them talking and celebrating, talking about the gunshots. At around 6 p.m. November 26, 2022, and 911 dispatchers like received video several calls like, oh, about man. a shooting involving several people. Oh, According to reports, an off-duty cop killers during the mass shootings. All right, so we done with this video, bro. This is a whole nother video that they open this like a whole other part. But anyway, bro, uh, them niggas in Florida do not kill, bro. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how they, like, they just don't care. But me, like I said, I'm out of state now, bro. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm over here chilling. Um, I would think about being away from Florida for like 10 years. And when I do go back, I will plan on moving to Miami. But in all honesty, I'm going to leave it in God's hands. Whatever God take me, I'll go. Uh, I ain't going to force none. I ain't rushing none. Everything in God's hands. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I might do another reaction video. Like I said, I ain't got nothing else to do. Because I'm going to just be laying in bed. And then I might get on the phone with my girl and just play GTA and ignore her for a little bit. I don't know yet. But yeah, man, it's your boy Flutter, man.